Please stand. Good morning. Thank you for joining us on Wednesday of the second week of Ordinary Time. Our Mass, intentions is, our mass intention is for the, the deceased members of Our Lady of the Wayside. All the earth will bow down before you, O God, and shall sing to you, shall sing to your name, O Most High. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, as we come to our Lord Jesus to pray, to worship Him, and to ask Him to bless us and protect us, now we ask that during this Eucharist, we open our hearts and our minds to our God. Now to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins, and ask for God's forgiveness and God's mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things, both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear our pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Hebrews. Melchizedek, king of Salem, and a priest of God most high, met Abraham as he returned from his defeat of the kings and blessed him. And Abraham apportioned to him a tenth of everything. His name first means righteous king, and he is also king of Salem, that is, king of peace. Without father, mother, or ancestor, without beginning of days or end of life, thus made to resemble the Son of God, he remains a priest forever. It is even more obvious if another priest is, prayed, is raised up after the likeness of Melchizedek, who has become so, not by the law expressed in a commandment concerning physical descent, but the power of a life that cannot be destroyed. For it is testified, you are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. You are a priest, you are a priest forever, forever, forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The scepter of your power the Lord will stretch forth from Zion, rule in the midst of your enemies. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Yours is the princely power in the day of your birth, in holy splendor before the day star, like the dew 
I have begotten you. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord has sworn, and he will not repent. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Please stand. Your blessing, Father. We can make Christ be in your heart and on your lips that you may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered the synagogue. There was a man. There was, there was a man there who had a withered hand. They watched Jesus closely to see if he would cure him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. He said to the man with the withered hand, Come up here before us. Then he said to the Pharisees, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil? To save life rather than to destroy it? But they remained silent, looking around at them with anger and grieved at their hardness of heart. Jesus said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with the Herodians against him to put him to death. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. <clears throat> Please seat. Now, very often in the gospel, we see how our Lord Jesus performs miracles. Just like today, he cures one of those uh, affected by uh, uh, this illness. Uh, he had a withered hand, and so obviously he could not uh, fully uh, enjoy his life the way that we can, you know, if we are fully healthy. And so, uh, often happens that in the Gospels that our Lord is moved with pity for those who are somehow uh, afflicted, uh, touched by all kinds of diseases and, and uh, health issues, not only in the body, but most of all in the soul. And so it is important that we always keep that in mind, that we uh, can come to Christ, to our Lord, to Jesus, and ask for uh, all kinds of healings that he as God can heal us from. Now we come to celebrate the Eucharist uh, as we are doing it now, and we come because we believe in Christ, no? Don't we? And we want to express uh, our love toward God, just like you love your parents, and maybe your siblings and your friends, and you want to be kind to them, you uh, want to spend time with them. It's very natural for us people, no? And so when we come to pray, we come because in our heart there is this desire to be here. That's the most beautiful gift that we can actually offer to God. God doesn't need anything. God doesn't even need us. God doesn't need us. Because God, as God, is all-powerful. God has everything. But God created me and you, each one of us. Why? If God has everything, if God doesn't need anything, God doesn't even need this world that we live in. 
because it's very imperfect. For us, it's beautiful in many ways. And yes, it is beautiful, but it's very imperfect compared to what is in this world that we cannot see with our human eyes. So why God needs you and you and you and you and you and me and everyone? Why? Anyone wants to uh, give answer? Any ideas? No? You don't know? Okay. There is someone, okay. Why? I cannot hear you. Maybe that... Okay. Because God loves us. Because God loves us. And therefore God, who loves us and created us, and we belong to him. Obviously God uses our parents because he created a special, you know, law of nature, biology and, and all of it. And so he uses that law to create, to give life. And so we are alive, no? We can move our hand, can we? No? And that's good. So we have to be grateful to our God for everything. We have to be grateful that we are alive today. I'm sure you are grateful that you could come to school. Are you grateful? A little bit. It's better to come to school than to stay at home, no? No? You have friends, you have teachers, you can learn something. So, see, there are many, many, even little things that we can acknowledge and see, wow, it's good that I have it, that I, and that I can walk, that I am alive, that I have my family, that I can go to school, that I have my friends. Every little thing that we kind of keep in mind and acknowledge and say, thank you, God, for that. Jesus Thank you for that, no? This great gift of gratitude makes our hearts more beautiful because then we know how to appreciate things. And when we know how to appreciate things, we will be a very generous people toward those that we love, toward our family members, our friends, other people, and even ourselves. No? We will know how important this gratitude, the gift of gratitude is in our life. It will make us more joyful, more humble at the same time, and more loving. And so today, Jesus, who cured this person with a withered hand, is asking each one of us, do you love me? Do you believe in me? Are you grateful for all those gifts that you have received in this life? And for us, people of faith, for us Christians, Hopefully the answer is obvious. Yes, we are grateful, and we thank you, Lord, and we want to use our life well, to use this time that we are given, because maybe there are children around the world who cannot come to school because of the situation in their countries. Maybe they are not safe. Maybe they are poor. They are not as fortunate as we are. So we have to be grateful because then our hearts is more beautiful, more generous, not only toward God, but also toward other people as well, right? So I want you today to be grateful. When you go home, thank your parents. Find a good reason to be thankful and grateful to your parents, okay? And that will be also a beautiful gift that you appreciate what they do, you know, to you, okay? Now I will ask you to please rise and let us present our humble prayers and petitions to our loving Father in heaven. For the Holy Father, Pope Francis, may Christ continue to guide his leadership of the church throughout the whole world. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all of those who serve the law, may God's guidance inspire in them a renewed commitment to the value of human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those who struggle with disabilities, may God's strength accompany them in their hardships. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all of us gathered here, may the Lord strengthen and sustain our faith in all we do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all the faithful departed, may they soon find peace and joy in God's presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the deceased member of Our Lady of Wayside, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the intentions listed in our parish book of intentions and for those we hold in the silence of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, hear our humble prayers and grant them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the, the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father, the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries, for whenever the memorial of the sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all, your create, that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too exalt you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Amen. Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, 
for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that, that you should enter, enter my, roof. my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
the body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were sacramentally there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. You have prepared a table before me, and how precious is the chalice chalice that quenches my thirst. Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to to God. God. Gracias. Oh, thank you.